Hey everybody, how you doing? It's your friend Syndicated. I'm coming to show you a new box that I found at Nijia of Popin Cooking. I don't know, I guess I spelled it wrong. I thought it was Poppin with two P's or three P's in the word, but it's only two P's in the word. Pop in, pop in, cook in. That's what it's called. So anyways, Tanoshi Ramen, one of the boxes that I didn't have, and I'm still going to make the videos of the other ones that I showed uh, in my last video. So we have mango pudding, <laughs> ramen bowl, ramen noodle soup with fish cake and tamago egg, uh, gyoza. All of these are like some things I'd like to eat in real life. And with some kind of filling, I'm interested to know what kind of filling that is. And what it's made out of. Here's the um, the contents, the trays with the little mold, squeezing bag, cup, colors. Those are um, powdered colors. And uh, so wash your hands. These are the same instructions that we always have. And in making this video, I discovered, follow the gyoza mold along the red line. Okay, so... I'll tell you right now, but um, make the toppings of the ramen, make the gyoza dumpling. And so it shows you it's pretty self-explanatory. It shows you how to make all the pieces. It's going to be interesting, and I'm glad. I think I'm going to make it with my daughter because it looks a little bit, um, I don't know. I'm kind of worried about it. So just uh, follow the directions, and if you see there, it tells you fill it to the Musical note, <laughs> that's the measurement. Musical note, and this one, this tray, fill it to the star, I guess, with powder. Uh, I don't know. So, I'll demonstrate to you when we actually do it so you can see how it works. Um, then you stick a little, the little toothpick in there, make a hole, and that's how you squeeze out the ingredients to make, a, make it look like noodles. Um, one thing that I um, <clears throat> realized about this box is that there's a QR code on the top, and it, um, if you go to it, it, you can actually see a video. They provide a video where they're demonstrating how to make um, the, uh, the set, how to do this, the kit. So here I am wasting time trying to fix the lighting. I, I'm never satisfied with the lighting, but I'm going to keep trying. Sorry for this little um, snafu. Anyhow, um, we'll get back to the... I'm going to have to learn how to cut, cut stuff like this out. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm still... It's a learning process, you see. So here's... If you're an adult, here are the... Here's your advice for you. You're helping somebody, or should I read it? My daughter is also an adult, but maybe we should both read it then. <laughs> okay, so there's like little instructions, I guess, telling you how to be a better... Um, I give good guidance to the person that uh, you're teaching. So I was really careful to open it without tearing the package because... Uh, I just, I liked it to look nice, and also I wanted to preserve the lid as a reference to see what um, what my products are supposed to look like in this project. So, boom, boom, take it out. <clears throat> it's another package, okay? But this package is the tray. It's where afterward when you make the... Um, the little items, you place it on here, and it's for the presentation of the... I guess for photography's sake and stuff. There's the mango pudding, and there's a picture. That's how it's supposed to look when you're done. Right here. And see, that's the tray there. So I think I'd probably glue it onto some cardboard or something just to make it a little stiff. And uh, then you could actually move it around. I'm interested to see how these come out and if they're even edible. I don't know what... If they have flavor, I don't under, I don't know this one because it didn't say strawberry or anything. So I'm just carefully opening the the box. I need hasami. Um, I don't have any hasami. And if you remember last time, I told you that that means scissors, but I was calling it by the wrong word. But yeah, little by little, I'm picking up on more conversational um, nihongo. So I'm careful to not tear the package because I want to use that little graphic on the other side of that has the tray, this one. So 
I'm just um, opening one side and just wiggle it out. There we go. Tan -tan -tan -tan. That's what's inside. I think this package, I think this box was like seven. No, I think it was on sale. They had a sale on some for $3.99. It's a really good price. Um, okay, soup powder. That's for the ramen. The ramen bowl. Um, CYN. If anyone knows what language that is, that um, soup is CYN, um, please comment. I guess I could go look, but I just, maybe somebody might know. So let me know. Okay, soup. So then, su, the long, check out the vowel, and then pu. Supu. It's really supu. But they say supu. They, yeah, they might say supu. So, uh, ramen, yeah. Ramen store. I can't read the little tiny writing there. Comes with a variety of little packets. Um, this one is a red packet, I believe. Yeah, because we saw in the box it said that it had red and yellow and different colors so here we go the popping cooking red packet that doesn't say <laughs> any that's all it says it doesn't say like what it's for like see in the yellow packet if you look at it it says there it's the noodle powder so this is the packet you use you mix it with water and uh make noodles out of that the red one doesn't say what it's for but we'll find out it's um uh, I don't know what it's for. We'll find out. So, and we, then this one's like an orange one, and that's the mango pudding. So, that one does have a description on it. So, the mango pudding is easy to make. It looks like, I mean, I haven't made it, but it looks easy. It looks like when you make jello, it has a mold, and you just mix it with water and pour it right in there. So, I think that's the, probably the easiest one to do. Here's the bag Popin' cooking or popping cooking. Um, this is where you make the, you pour in the powder and then you, when you do your mixture, you pour it in here. Then with the toothpick, you make a little hole and you squeeze out noodles. Okay, that's the cup for making the mango pudding. It's just like a, just like a creamer cup. <laughs> Cocktail fork that came with it. Um, everyday toothpick, common toothpick. With a little engraving on it, notches as notches on it. Those are a little fancier. I'm pointing them out there. Um, and then this is the mold. There's um, hot sticker mold, um, tamago egg mold, and the fish cake. And then here's the star that we're supposed to fill up to, and also the musical note. Okay. So I'm going to put everything back into the box because I don't want to lose anything. So keep it all together until we're ready to make it. And from now on, the rest of them, I'm not going to open any until I'm ready to work on them because I'm opening them one at a time because uh, they have a lot of stuff in there. I don't want to lose it. If you like this content, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye-bye. Arigato.